solving word problems word problems are the way that you can use the mathematical skills to apply to real life situations solving word problem teaches us to use logic and creative thinking visualizing the underlying idea in the problem and finding a solution to it makes the task interesting and enjoyable steps for steps of problem solving here are the steps you can follow for solving any math word problem the steps of problem solving help you think in an organized way and help you decide how to solve a problem there are five main steps to solving a math word problem step 1 read read the problem and understand the question step 2 find find the important information given in the problem step 3 decide decide what to do step 4 solve solve the problem and answer the question step 5 check check your answer this mnemonic will help us remember the steps of problem solving Rita finds dogs so cute. R for read, F for find, D for decide, S for so, S is for solve, C for check. Isn't it easy, my children? Rita finds dogs so cute. Let's now study each step of problem solving in detail. So. first read prob problem closely so be sure to read the entire math problem carefully two to three times and look for the keywords the next is to underline underline the numbers as they appear in the word problem the next is to order the numbers write the larger number on top and smaller one beneath next is to circle the keywords circle the keywords which will help to solve the word problem so let's see some of the addition keywords here which will help us in identifying the addition word problem if we have the words like all all together in all plus sum total that mean that's a addition word problem let's see some of the subtraction keywords which will help us in identifying subtraction word problems so that are difference fewer less than minus remainder if you see this type of words in the word problem that mean that is a subtraction word problem so let's go for the next thing which we need to do while solving the word problem is to choose the operation decide upon the operation after studying the keywords now we will conclude after deciding we have to solve and check our answer so while checking we need to ask a question does my answer make sense if your answer makes sense that means bravo you have done it correctly if it doesn't make sense you get an absurd answer that means you have made a mistake so you need to redo go to the step 1 and start solving once again so now let's practice let's see the question first step of solving word problem is to read so let's read the question 65 parent tickets and 98 students tickets were sold for the school annual day how many tickets were sold in all now we read the question and then it has asked us to underline the keywords now he uh, numbers so here are the numbers which we need to underline 65 parent tickets and 98 student tickets so those numbers we have underlined the next step is to check for the keyword i have already kept this question underlined because we have to answer this question how many tickets were sold in all this is the question we need to answer 
So where is the keyword? Yes, in all is the keyword. So we got the keyword. That means this is an addition. What problem? So let's solve. So the next thing after checking, getting the keyword is to solve. Now for solving, it has asked us to put the numbers in order. So bigger number on top, smaller number at the bottom and addition symbol addition symbol by the side and then add 8 plus 5 is 13 and 9 plus 1 10 10 plus 6 is 16 so we got 163 does our answer ends here finish no we have to end it with a statement as it, this is a word problem how many tickets were sold in all we have to answer this question so we will end it with a statement 163 tickets were sold in all easy my children Let's go and see some more examples of addition word problems. Rani has 215 marbles and Ali has 320 marbles. How many marbles do they have all together? Again, we will underline the numbers first of all and then check for the keywords. How many marbles do they have all together? Can you find the keyword, my children? Yes, that's the all together word. So that means this is also addition. We'll do the sum fast fast. 320, 320 to be added to 215. We get the answer as 535. But does it ends here? No, we have to have a statement. What will be the statement? How many marbles do they have all together? That will be they have 535 marbles all together. We change the question to the answer. Can you see my children? Let's go for the next question. Sarah made 23 flags and John made 75 flags. How many flags did they make in total? Again, we will first underline the important key numbers. 23 and 75 are the important key numbers. Then we will start checking for the keyword. So, what's the keyword? How many flags did they make in total? Yes, total is the keyword. So, my children, we need to add this, put the numbers in order first of all. So, bigger number is 75. So, that will be on top. The smaller number is 23. So, that will be at the bottom. And when we add, we are getting the answer as 98. Does it end here? No, we have to have a statement. So, change the question to answer. How many flags did they make in total? So that will be they made 98 flags in total. Easy my children. Let's practice one more question. What is the sum of 454 and 340? Now underlining the numbers first 457 and 340 that is the first step. Now then check for the keyword. What is the keyword over here? Yes children it's sum. So now we need to add put the bigger number on top smaller number at the bottom and add. So that is 4 plus 0 is 4, 5 plus 4 is 9 and 4 plus 3 is 7. Does it end here? No, we need to add. We need to end it with a statement. Sum of 454 and 340 is 794. Let's practice some more questions. Dear student, sometimes we may not find the keywords. In such situation, we need to underline the understand the question and try to answer. A yoga class has 25 students at the beginning of the month. 76 more students join later. How many students are there in the yoga class now? Here there is no such keyword. In all, no. Altogether, no. Total, no. Some, no. Then what to do? So, in such cases, we have to understand the logic behind the question, read the question properly and try to understand it. So, here we it has said that uh, there, there are 25 students at the beginning of the class, 76 more students join later, the number is increasing and how many students are there in the yoga class now, that means we need to add. So, my children, we will add putting the bigger number on top and smaller number at the bottom and adding so 6 plus 5 is 11 7 plus 1 is 8 8 plus 2 is 10 so the answer is 101 
but does our answer ends here no it has to end with a statement so change the question to the answer how many students are there in the yoga class now that will be there are 101 students in the yoga class now let's go for some more questions here we often use addition when we have to find how many are there in all but sometimes we use addition in other situations too so here is one one example let's try to solve this azim has a collection of 78 bookmarks saji has a collection has 15 more bookmarks than azim shaji has 15 more bookmarks than azim how many bookmarks does shaji have here you can see that to know how many bookmarks shaji has he has given total number of bookmarks azim is having so azim is having how many 78 shaji has 15 more than azim so let's see let's underline the numbers then try to solve this question how many does azim has 78 how many shaji has 15 more than azim that means first of all we have to take the azim's number that is 78 and to it we have to have add 15 more so how much will it be you just need to add so put 78 on top 15 at the bottom add now 8 plus 5 is 13 7 plus 1 is 8 plus 1 is 9 so 93 bookmarks shaji has my children this is a different question isn't it so this type of questions also come now that you are growing up you have grown up you, we started with the keywords now we can even do without the help of the keywords just you have to understand the logic behind the question so let's end it with a statement what will be the statement saji has 93 bookmarks in the textbook on page number 44 you have some mixed problem solving questions in it some subtraction questions are also given I'll explain one subtraction question from it. You will be learning subtraction in detail in the next chapter. So let's see this question. There are 98 large fish in one tank at the aquarium. There are 112 small fish in another tank. How many small fish than large fish are there at the aquarium? So here my children we can we will first of all underline the numbers 98 large fish in one tank at the aquarium and 112 small fish in another tank we can clearly make out that small fish number of small fish is more than the large fish so but it is it wants to know how many more so what is to be done i'll help you i'll help you understand with a small question with an easy with easy numbers see this question which i have given over here Rani has 12 toffees and John has 8 toffees. How many more toffees does Rani have than John? So my children, we can easily make out Rani has 12 and John has 8. So how many more toffees does Rani have than John? It's 4, isn't it? When the numbers are easy, we can do it easily. How did you get that 4? You have to subtract. So when you are comparing you have to subtract so here also we will be subtracting but remember my children order the number the number which is bigger should be on top the number which is smaller should be at the bottom here which is the bigger number 112 so we will keep it at top and 98 at the bottom check care how you place the numbers that placement of number is very very important it has to take the place value where it fits so i cannot put this nine at the hundreds place because 98 means nine tens it should be at the tens place only now let us go for subtraction we already have understood what is to be done two minus eight is not possible i need to borrow from my neighbor and that will become zero my neighbor will become zero and i'll get a 12 over here that will be four and zero minus nine is not possible again i'll go to my neighbor and borrow one and that will be 10 and 10 minus 9 is 1 and there is nothing so 14 is the answer we need to end it with a statement 
how many more small fish than large fish are there at the aquarium so the answer will be there are 14 more small fish than large fish at the aquarium got my children now of building skills using extra information sometimes they give us extra information which is which we don't need so what we have to do ask yourself is the information given in the question needed to find the answer decide on the information you need and the information you don't it's that easy let's see with an example so a farm had 25 white cows 49 black cows and 70 chickens how many cows are there in all we can easily make out that we don't need the information about the chickens so that's the info extra information given trying to confuse us but we are smart we'll just take what we need so 25 white cows we need 49 black cows we need so in the question the keyword is already given in all so that means it is addition so let's add put the bigger number on top smaller number at the bottom and add so 9 plus 1 9 plus 5 is 14 carry over 4 plus 1 is 5 5 plus 2 is 7 so 74 we got it does it end here no we have to end it with a statement what will be the statement there are 74 cows in the farm easy my children let's try some more questions Preeti made 9 bead bracelets. She used 98 beads to make the smaller bracelets and 176, bracelet, uh, 176 beads to make larger ones. How many beads did she use in all? So here what is the extra information? I think the extra information is Preeti made 9 beads bracelets. We don't need that. We just need 98 beads to make the smaller bracelet and 176 beads to make the larger bracelets so that much is enough for us so in all is given again it's an addition question so we need to add put the bigger number on top smaller number at the bottom and add so how what we will be getting so 6 plus 8 is 14 carry over 7 plus 1 is 8 8 plus 9 is 17 1 carry over so 274 we got as answer so we need to end it with a statement so Preeti used 274 beads in all so let's try one more question my children let's see this one the school canteen sold 126 sandwiches and 48 juice cans on the first day of the school the same canteen sold 102 sandwiches and 38 juice cans on the second day of school how many juice cans were sold in all we can clearly make out that we don't need the information about sandwiches so we'll underline what we need 48 juice cans 38 juice cans and in the question we already know there is a keyword which is very very easy we need to add so let's add 48 plus 38 which gives us 86 so does it ends here no we have to end it with a statement what is the question how many juice cans were sold in all change it to answer so that will be the school canteen sold 86 juice cans in all thank you with this we complete unit 2 addition dear students practice all the questions given in the textbook as you all know that practice makes us perfect have fun with maths bye